I mean, you bring up so many great points just to kick us off in this conversation. I was, and some people who've listened to other episodes, you you heard I was in, um, oh, I had accepted to the Aspen Institute Socrates uh, Fellows Program. And it was, it was amazing being out there in Aspen just with these leaders from across the world, right? Yeah. And I remember that the fourth day I was out there just kind of sitting there and I called my wife and I'm like, like, hun, like, I don't feel like I belong here. Mm. Um, I, I know I've done quote unquote well, um, but to compared to these people in the room, like, yeah, you got delegates, you got CEOs of international organizations, you got like just re- like there are billionaires in one of the rooms I was in that one, that one night. Like, I just felt like I wasn't, I didn't belong there. So my, my question for you, like that having that confidence, building that confidence of oneself, regardless of how quote unquote successful you've been, that's difficult for a lot of people. So do you have any advice or what are your thoughts or reactions to how to build that confidence um, when you're not sure you do belong in the room? Mm. I don't know if I'm the best person to answer that. Um, I, For me, um, this was nurtured in me um, from a real good village and good parents. And uh, at a young age, they encouraged me <clears throat> to be competent and to be confident. And um, I think that uh, w- without that nurturing over time, uh, if I had to learn it on my own as an adult, uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm the best person to give that advice, to be um, honest with you. Um, so I, I think my advice would be as our generation has kids and as we look to raise the next generation it would be to uh, really pour, be intentional about pouring confidence into our kids and doing that in a way that holds them accountable um, and doing that in a way that uh, encourages them to reach their full potential and push them to the max um, but also you know celebrate them and congratulate them along that journey right um, i am not a fan of folks that win participation awards <laughs> right. and so i believe in you know a meritocracy and, and a merit-based society um uh, but but i do think that it starts at home and with the folks that love us and the folks that we respect at an early age um and and then i think sort of what we're exposed to along our journey um, and the different spaces that we're in feed into that and support that. 